This is the Riverhawk Report. A look back, a look ahead. And these are busy times. Winter and spring sports all in action. Playoff time for the basketball teams. Men's basketball is on a roll. The Riverhawks may be playing their best basketball of the season. The men hosted Delphi Thursday night at the Costello Athletic Center after turning in a couple of terrific performances in their first two Northeast 10 playoff outings. The Riverhawks defeated Merrimack at the Costello 75-66. Then the ball club marched into hostile territory and shocked Stonehill 79-69. First things first, in the Merrimack game, Akeem Williams, Matt Welch, and Antonio Bivens each hit for 21. The Riverhawks had trailed by six at the half, but the second half was no contest. The Riverhawks revved their engines. Again, the final UMass Lowell 75, Merrimack 66. The Stonehill game was a different story. Five Riverhawks in double digits, long range shooting the key. They were 12 for 19 from behind the three-point arc. Stonehill's a very, very good they're the best defensive team, they're the best rebounding team, and the best field goal percentage shooting team. So for us to come in here and win, we had to just take it, and we took it to them. That is head coach Greg Horenda. Akeem Williams led Riverhawks scoring with 26 points. Romeo Diaz added 15. Robbie Walton hit for 12, including a three-quarter court buzzer beater to end the first half. They, did, they denied Akeem. I just had to be in the right place at the right time. They denied him, so I, I was open, took the ball, and Third up there. That's Robbie Walton. Matt Welch had 11 points. Antonio Bivens added 10. Again, UMass Old defeated Stonehill 79-69. The Riverhawks are now 20 and 8. They host Delphi at the Costello Center on Thursday evening. For the women's basketball team, the season is over. It ended Sunday in Colchester, Vermont. The Riverhawks were beaten in the opening round of the Northeast 10 tournament by St. Michael's, 74-59. The Riverhawks led early in the second half, but runs of 13-3, and a bit later, 16-4, put the game on the St. Michael's side of the ledger. Two Riverhawks were in double digits. Bianca Simmons led UMass Hall, scoring with 15 points. Shanae Bushner added 13. The Riverhawks finished the season 9-18. The UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks may be playing their best hockey of the season. They grabbed three of a possible four points during a weekend with a 3-3 tie at Providence and then a 7-2 win against the Friars back at the Songus Center on senior night. The Saturday night win featured relentless, creative, offensive hockey, something that had been missing for much of the season. I thought we played fabulous on the offensive side of the puck, made a lot of plays, very creative. You know, um, their goalie actually played pretty good. Or it could have been a bigger number than it was. And then, you know, when we had to be thorough and grind it out, they're a desperate team. You know, I thought our guys were equal to the task. That is head coach Blaze McDonald. The heroes were many. David Valerani had three goals and three assists on the weekend and was named the Hockey East Player of the Week. Joseph Pendenza had three goals. Riley Wentmore found the back of the net twice. Matt Ferreira and Jason DeLuca also had goals. Maury Edwards and Michael Budd had three assists apiece in the Saturday win. Daniel New stops, sets up, holds, fires, blocked, rebound behind the net. Turnaround shot by Bud. Save. Valerani shot. Score! River Hot. Valerani steps through a couple people. Val puts it in front. Deflected by Pendenza. Score! And the River Hawks take a two to one. Back to Ruby to left point. Moves toward the middle. Holds. Holds. Sends it across. Here's Pendenza. His red shot. Score! I think it'll be Pendenza's goal. It looked and like Bodry got Blue it. Blue Weedle got it to Furlong at the blue line. His wrist shot into a crowd. Score! Deflected along the way. Maybe Blue Pendenza it. or it's Sends it toward Furlong. the net. Save is made. Bud behind the net. Puts it in front. Shot. Redmore. Score! Riley Redmore from Michael Bud. Playing down pretty much the whole year. We've been battling back, so... Just another game. We just knew we knew we had to come out. We were out playing them, like you said, and uh, we just came out, out played them, and it was great to see all the seniors get involved. Valerani avoids a man, avoids another. Got it sent across in front by Bud. It was knocked away. Valerani's got it again. 22 seconds on the power play. Shot by Valerani. Score! That looked like it was. Well, Edwards into the prior zone. Accelerates. Sends it on goal. Deflected by DeLuca. Score! Murray Edwards, terrific pass to his... Now right got the puck to Val in the slot. This is Edwards, his backhander loose. Punched home by Wetmore. Riverhawks take a 5-2 lead. Riley Wetmore with his second of the night. Yeah, I feel great. I've been staying after practice on the ice, just working on my shot and whatnot. So uh, 
it's been helping out, and uh, I was just fortunate to get the puck in the net tonight. Bod gives the puck to Valerani. Valerani to Bod behind the net, steps in front to Ferreira, shot, score! 6 2 River Hawks, bing, bang, boom! Back Valerani to comes to the middle. Valerani stick handles, then to say, back to Val, shot, score! Oh my, you don't get prettier than that! Again, the Hockey River Hawks were winners Saturday night, defeating Providence 7 2. They will wrap up the season this weekend with two games at Vermont. Four individuals and three relay teams are headed to the NCAA Division II Track and Field Championships. The individuals, sophomore Evan White, he is the top seed in the 200-meter dash. Senior Dante Brown earned a spot in the 400 meters, and freshman David Brown grabbed the final spot in the 800. Candace Green earned an invite in the shot put. The teams, the men's and women's 4x400-meter relay teams, and the men's distance medley relay team. The indoor championships will be held this week weekend in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The spring sports are rolling. Softball took three of six in a weekend tournament in Florida. Softball now will wait a couple of weeks before it returns to action. Baseball took two out of three against St. Thomas Aquinas. The game's played in New Jersey, and the Baseball River Hawks will be back in the Garden State this weekend for four games against Caldwell. And that's the River Hawk Report.